to Dens Biking Adventures. Today we're at uh, Millbrook, just uh, right now riding the Millie Vanilli Trail. Um, actually, uh, I'm out uh, just for a quick ride, just testing out the uh, GoPro Hero 12. Um, playing around, see the quality of the video. Um, do apologize on this video. Some of the uh, some of the angles aren't the best. I was actually uh, had it on my uh, clip to my backpack on the shoulder, and uh, it's not. It wasn't in the the best of positions. Especially for uh, going uh, going downhill. But the uh, video quality seems to be uh, a lot decent, a lot more clear than uh, what I have been using. Going on that little, little bit of a skinny there. But yeah, like, uh, let me know what you think on the quality of the video um, and the details. But I do find that uh, GoPro has, uh, compared to the X3 that uh, I use sometimes in that, the GoPro seems to have better uh, stability uh, in the camera, especially when you get into uh, a little bit faster stuff. I find the X3 uh, couldn't uh, quite keep up. And so here we are at the top of um, High Plains Drifter, just dropping down in that. Um, Carly in front of me. And the trails, obviously, as you can see, are wet and wet and a little bit leafy, so a little bit slippery. It's been, uh, it's actually, when we first came out, it was, uh, it was snowing and it turned to hail and then a little bit of rain. And, uh, actually shortly after we finished this trail, it turned to sunshine. So, you know, we got, uh, that time of year we get, uh, all within half an hour, 45 minutes, we get every, all possible weather. Typical Ontario. And so some of the quicker stuff there, I find that the uh, Lico Pro uh, keeps up with a lot better than uh, what I have been using. Oh, yeah, again, you know, please let uh, let me know what you uh, what you think, quality-wise, um, and uh, let me know what you guys uh, or what you uh, what you are using uh, for your uh, videos, uh, whether it be GoPro or the X3 or DJI. Uh, I'm just curious. And, uh, I am especially learning as I go with this, uh, making videos, uh, learn to be a creator. It's uh, definitely a steep uh, learning curve um, on top of, you know, my full-time job and my part-time job and get out biking as much as I can. I'm just looking for tools that, uh, Simplify my life and my creativity.
little bit of shakiness on the camera here going over that real bumpy section, but I think that's because it's on my shoulder. I'll have to retry some of this and uh, Not on the best angles like before. When I've seated the angle's fine standing up, it's not uh, it's not as good. Uh, depending on the angle of the trail as well. But uh, as we go, I guess. This uh, trail high plains drifter is a lot of fun to come down. You definitely see a lot of wetness in the trail there, uh, puddling up. But it is, uh, especially when it's a little drier and uh, once it freezes up, it'll be nice and grippy. It's really, really fun trail to come down and really nice trail for climbing. I'm raising all this through this section. I lose a little bit of, lose my momentum um, through this section. Anyways, let me know what you think of the video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, please like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. Helps out. Uh, um, my creative content and uh, also uh, you know feel free to leave a comment on you know what you think of this and uh, ways to improve I'm always looking ways to improve so again please like and subscribe and thank you for watching